controversy surrounding omega-3 fatty acids and cardiovascular disease was one of the topics discussed at this morning's session on the future of evidence-based dietary recommendations. I spoke with Dr. William Harris, and here's what he had to say. It's not just supplements when people increase their omega-3 level and have it as part of their diet for decades, uh, not just introducing it late in life in a, in a chronic disease situation to try to make it fix things. Probably, and probably eating levels of omega-3 that are in the neighborhood of what Japan consumes, which is around a gram a day. I think that's also probably important. We're eating about a, a tenth of that in America. I, I, I don't find the omega-6, omega-3 ratio to be useful, uh, either in, de in deciding what foods to eat or in measuring blood uh, omega-3 status uh, for a variety of reasons. One reason is the specific omega-3s and omega-6s are not defined in, when you say that ratio. Some of them have beneficial effects, some of them don't, and mixing them all together, uh, you lose specificity. Uh, you can have the same ratio for very very high intakes of both omega-6 and omega-3, very low intakes of omega-3 give you exactly the same ratio. Omega-6 fatty acids are not the problem. Uh, in my view, it's the, the lack of omega-3 that's the problem, not the excess of omega-6. So when you focus on a ratio, you think you can fix the ratio one of two ways, at least. Maybe I'll just not eat as much omega-6, and I won't change my omega-3, and I'll accomplish the goal. Well, it doesn't accomplish the goal. It distracts people from, I think, the important message, if you have a low omega-3, you need to fix that. Don't worry about your omega-6.